Now we're going to do another product review. And this one's long overdue because I've had this hood for roughly, probably a little over four years now. Now, if you've seen in previous episodes where we did put the hardwood hood on the C10, it was kind of a pain. There's a little more modifications than what I thought there should be when installing a hood. Especially when you make a mold and you do it over and over again. As many years as they've done it, you think they'd have it down. But, just had some issues with it. Now this hood right here, I got years ago, over four years, and this is back when I could not find a reproduction steel hood, and most of the original hoods needed a lot of work, and they were asking quite a bit of money for it. So this hood right here, I believe was 7 750 delivered from Glass Tech. Now, you probably heard me mention that before when I was doing the hardwood hood on the C10. Now, I've used Glass Tech before this hood, and I had good luck with it. It was on my old 81 C10 that was my daily driver, and I drove it for years with that hood on it and never had an issue. Now, this hood has been on here for four and a half years. It has somewhat exposed the elements, and it has not even been painted yet. Because I'm actually not finished with the car. And there's a reason why I've never finished with this car. It's kind of a personal thing. And I just can't really touch it right now. But I figure I'd do the hood review on it. Now this hood, I've had pretty good luck with lining up for the most part. Now you know, a lot of people will talk about, oh, I only use original parts to replace parts on my car because they fit better. Well, I've had problems using original parts as well because bodies, chassis, all that tweak and twist over time, especially with the fork of a Pontiac. And I find a lot of times that aftermarket fits just as well as an original. It has to do almost the same amount of work half time. Sometimes you get lucky, it goes right on, sometimes you don't. So, but this hood right here was a fairly simple, quick, easy bolt on. Now I only had to do some small modifications which weren't really bad at all. Of course I installed hood pins but that has nothing to do with it. Now one thing you'll notice right off the bat is it does not have the little chrome scoop louvers or whatever you want to call them, inserts in them. It doesn't come with them. You'd have to have a set and the price they were asking for them I figured I'd just run without them. Now this is actually does come solid, and I cut the scoops out, making them functional. Now that's something you don't have to do. Now whether or not it comes to fitting the scoop inserts in there, since I didn't put them in there, I can't really say that they fit or not because I don't have a set. Because the hood was gone on this car when we got it, a lot of stuff was missing, it was basically a basket case. So, I'm going to do, first of all, the overall finish is not bad for this hood. And actually on the C10 I had it on, actually I just waxed it and buffed it a couple of times and you couldn't even hardly tell that it wasn't painted yet. Of course we have springs for a fiberglass hood on this, which that's one thing you have to change is your hood springs. Now overall, I really didn't have to do any trimming on this hood to make it fit. If you saw on the hardwood hood, I had to do a lot of trimming. Now, really as for modifications go, there's only two things I really had to do in order to put this hood on. Now I had to do two modifications. One was notch it here, just to clear the latch. The other was I had to drill a hole here, and I believe I was able to access the other one, I believe under here. But what it was is for the arrowhead on the hood, which it comes with an indention 
for the arrowhead where it should sit but it doesn't come drilled but that's really only the modifications I had to do now that is really all the modifications I had to do to get this fit other than your typical just slight tweaking and adjusting for the body lines now with the springs it is slightly raised here and I'm not sure if that's from beforehand before I got the fiberglass springs it may have already damaged the hood but overall we're pretty well flush here and here and all back here it's pretty well good this is pretty close right here and our gaps are pretty well a little reasonable tolerance now considering a lot of people like to nitpick your body gaps but even from the factories these never came perfect so as close as they are it's pretty good now I do really think that this little hump right here where it is raised is from the original hood springs I left on here at first and I think it kind of swarped it a little bit and it has gone down a little bit over time since the other springs have been on it I could probably adjust it just a little bit and get it back to where it should be but that one's on me and I hope this information proved helpful to you and as always thanks for watching